Hello and welcome to the Alarm Lock YouTube channel. In this session, I want to show you how to retrieve an audit trail from a network's lock. Now, the audit trail will show everything that has happened at that lock. Um, the users that have entered, any schedules that have been uh, enabled, um, disabled, uh, anything that happens at that lock. So to retrieve an audit trail from a network's lock, you click on the profile that you want to retrieve the audit trail from. Then you click on communication. Now, under the communication, you have communicate with selected networks lock. So you click on that and then you will click uh, in the box that says receive number of uh, event logs. So you put a check mark in there and you can adjust the number of logs that you want to receive up to 40,000. Now this is the uh, last uh, 40,000 events that are inside that uh, lock. It's a first in, first out, uh, so it will maintain the last 40,000 events. Once you've chosen the number of events that you want to retrieve, you click Start. And then it will go through and it will retrieve those number of events. When it is through communicating, it will open up the event window, or the event log, and it will show you everything that has happened at that lock. It will show you the remote uh, input. So this lock has had a remote release that has been uh, activated. Uh, it shows uh, that the logs were received at an earlier time. Uh, it shows, um, again, a remote input, uh, passage mode by schedule. Um, so everything that happens uh, is in this event log. Now, if you close out of all of that and you want to go back to view that log at a later date, then you highlight the lock that uh, you want to view and you click on log. And that will open up the events window as well. Now, in the next version of software, version 5.5.2 and higher, you will be, be able to actually search inside this event log window. So you can search by event, by name, or by user number. So if I want to search by event and I type in uh, remote input and then it will pop up and show you every uh, date and time that that remote input was activated. If you want to view by user number and you put in user number one, then it will bring up everybody that has the number one in their user number. So let's narrow this down to number 14. So now you can see that Jane Smith entered the lock on uh, April 12th at 6.43 p.m. And then she also initiated an unlock uh, from uh, an emergency unlock uh, from the lock at 9.53 a.m. Now you can also export these logs to a text file or a comma delimited file uh, or uh, you can print these logs directly from here. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, I hope it was informative and um, you were able to learn something about how to program the uh, Trilogy Locks. If you'd like to learn more about Alarm Lock, you can go to alarmlock.com and click on the Resources tab and there's a link there so you can download programming manuals. You can watch uh, recorded webinars. You can attend a live webinar. Uh, you can also sign up for my uh, training blog, my technical blog. Uh, if you sign up for it, then anytime I make a post, it will go directly to your inbox. We'll make uh, posts about new, vi new videos, new software, uh, new products, uh, basically anything alarm lock. If there's something that you would like to learn how to do, uh, a topic on the uh, Trilogy Locks or the software, you can send me a, uh, an email at aphelps at alarmlock.com. That's A-P-H-E-L-P-S at alarmlock.com. And I'll do my best to get that video uh, out and post it on this site. Uh, 